Imagine how this change up it's in a Bridget and Flavor show. Time for a make baby now to stop going like you are getting shady, yo. Good night and welcome to your favorite internet radio program, www.sxmtalk.com. Of course, I'm your host, Christopher Emmanuel, and tonight we're going to have a pretty interesting discussion for you because we are talking about baby needs milk, the locally produced, what should I call it, play, movie, skit. I mean, it was one of the best short film I've watched produced locally here on St. Martin. And yes, tonight, I have one of the main characters in the screenplay, better known as Lindy Scoodles, AKA Dollars. And I will always stress things that you can't even imagine. And it won't be planned, big man. Just say so, Vanessa, because I know that foot crapping, rapping, yapping, confusing the boy I use to do A no career. And that ah. is my branch. And yes, like I said, that is what we'll be talking about tonight. And many, many more. Like I said, I have here in the studio with me one of the characters, one of the actors, one of the screenplay in the production. We know him as Scoodles, but in the play, he's known as Dollars. And I will be putting some stiff questions to him tonight about his character. I'll be posing some hard questions about many things in the society, the youth, the young people, the system, and how the country is running, the society, and his role and many things that goes on. He was here once before when we had audio, but now he's on camera. Let me welcome to the program and welcome to Hard Talk. Scoodles, aka Dollars. Good night Yo and welcome man, to What's up? Talk. What's up going on, Chris? What happening? What's going on with you? I doing cool. I doing cool. Nice yeah. to have you here, man. What's yeah, up? What's nice good? to be here too. Everything cool so far. Um, first of all, um, I like to send up my, my deepest sympathy to um, the family of Cox, who just lost a beautiful little daughter there by the age of five years old. You know, me and Cooks grew up really good and. We always live good, you know. His mom, my mom, we, we family live right next door and condolences, you know, really going out to um, Mr. Cooks, you know. Sorry to hear about your daughter, you know. Of course, and also on behalf of www.sxmtalk.com, the whole production, the whole staff, everyone that has their input in this production, we are sending out our heartfelt condolences also to Cooks and his family. It's, a, it's, 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 it's truly, truly a tragedy yeah, with our fine. condolences. But Scoodle, you're here tonight. Yes, Christopher. And you're here tonight to talk about many, many things. Many things, man. This is hard talk. This is hard talk. Here's really. where we pose the serious and hard yeah. question. But it's Martin is a serious and hard place right now. Why yeah. would you say that? Well, uh, for certain reasons, different ways, you know, different things that really going down with the youths right now, the kind of peer pressure on the youths them is not because that... Uh, they were born that way, but it seems like um, they became that way because of how the system is running St. Martin right now. Nothing to do really. Uh, a lot of talent out there being wasted, you know. Instead of to get the, the chance to really put their talent forward, uh, it's easier for him to pick up drugs and, and, and do the wrong things with a, with, a, you know, with a wrong mind, you know, which he could have been put in that mind and that talent and that time. You know, and everything in his talent, doing certain things out there if he get a chance, you know. So you're talking about having an equal opportunity? Yes, of course. You know, don't because of your, 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 the greed of your hair or the name of your family or the color of your skin, you should be put in the background, you know, or put on the back burner, so to speak, you know what I'm saying? Well, I like how you just open that window, you open that door, because it goes right into what we are talking about here baby needs milk and, you know you know i would like to ask you first and foremost how you got into the the, the production of this your acting role i know we have the ambassador junior <laughs> lion we have Crater hodge we have many many more individuals in this and i think it's a very very good thing it's it's it, it has a deep message into it and this is the reason why i wanted you here tonight because i want to drill you on your role as the actor dollars in this screenplay and i really want to ask you certain questions pertaining to why you choose that role and the message that you intended to send or the director intended to send explain to me 
do your role as dollars well um as you can see in the movie my role is as dollars is uh more or less uh the bad boy in the show the, the hit man of the show you know um but actually um i didn't choose that um role that role was um kind of like given to me you know because um you know it ain't no sense of coming off the sideline or coming on the knee or coming from the top best you come straight because um more or less I've been through roles like that. I've been through things, similarity to that same role, you know? Now that I was a bad boy in life, uh, it's like, um, hey, I kill people and them kind of things. No, I don't, I don't indulge in those things at all. But um, the role that is going on that, that, that I played in, in, in that movie is typical of the things that is happening in your backyard today in St. Martin because of how the situations is. How easy it is for a man to come in some art and do what he wants, and when he's done, he just split out because there's no control. You understand? This, 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 this same things that happening in this movie is 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 things that um, we just think it only happening in Hollywood or happening in the movies in Hollywood. You, you talk know? about you talk about playing a bad boy, and mm -hmm. when I watch this 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 production today, mm -hmm. you really really got into your role. There was even an aspect where, where, you know, you was chasing behind a gentleman, and when one of your, your, your colleagues found him, you put a shot to him. Do you think, really and truly, that is the role that was intended for you because of, of the person you are? Like you said, you've been through this sort of thing? No, not really intended for me because of the person I am. It's just that um, it's like more or less... Um, you 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 been around. You see these things happen live, and 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 you, and you know more about it because, hey, like I say, the life that I live in my past is not that I was a a, a, a a criminal or anything like that. But it's just the typical things that you see in every day, and you have to move a wrong life in St. Martin right now, and it, it ain't easy being that um. You, you 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 have a, a young family. You don't have a job. You don't have this. You don't have that. And 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 these opportunities coming to you because well, hey, they, 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 it's so easily all around the place. Scattered. This one come with drugs. That one come with drugs. That one come with drugs. When, when you when you say opportunity, what you mean by that? You, opportunity you means like um like okay, you don't you don't have a job. Okay, you don't have a job, but you have a young family that you have to put food on that table every day, regardless to what. You know, certain things in life come harsh to, 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 to citizens and people that um, just have a nine to five job, you know? It comes very harsh. But at the same time, when you really check it out, it didn't come like that because uh, that drug dealer or that guy who bring in the drugs or that guy who sent out the drugs, it's like that because of how your island has been structurized. Well, what are you saying? That, that St. Martin is a drug haven? Man, St. Martin is not only a drug haven. So this place is a place that, that everybody looks like it, it, it's free for them to come in and do as they like. And when they're done, they jump on a boat tomorrow, Christopher. Even if they got to take a coconut tree and, 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 and paddle out on it, they could go. They could come and go. But me and you here now, we, 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 we live here. We... we, we, we go to school here, we, we build our family here, we pay our tax here, and actually we don't even go places to say that we go in vacation. So even if we have vacation time, we spend it here. You know what I'm saying? And I have people out there that's come in this place with, 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 with the amount of drugs and, 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 and sell it how they want and make this set of money and things. So now you know who on the sideline now who don't have a job, you ain't the one bringing the drugs. You don't have the drugs. But at the same time, you don't have a job. And these people bring in things. So it's not that I'm telling you that I specifically does that and live that and but, but deal with that. But this if is I, the if going I, If on. I listen to what you're saying, and when I watch this film today, you are saying that, okay, not, don't let me have to put words in your mouth, but, but you're saying that because one wouldn't have a job and this opportunity 
comes their way where they have to go in and, 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 and grab the narcotics, take it to the big man, get whatever they got. Are you saying that's the reality of it? Why don't you go and look for a job? I mean, well, I mean, I mean there are many things that, you can do. Like I say, that is the reality of it. And not only, not, not only the drug world or the drug part is reality of it, also going for jobs and not getting jobs is also a reality. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you have a guy here who have a family. Okay, he didn't, done, he didn't finish school. Okay, whatever. But that ain't mean that, hey, he shouldn't eat, he shouldn't live. And then he goes to have a job. And what you see these people doing now is that they, they, they will choose not to hire him because hiring him, especially in construction jobs like what I did, right. they, they, they wouldn't hire him because more or less is like they have to give him doctor card. They have to pay him on a day like let's say it's a, 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 a labor day or some day that is, is a government holiday and he goes to work. They have to pay him double. You know, they have to do a lot of things which when they hire a, a, a Jamaican or Spanish or whoever, they don't have to do these things. And yet they're still taking taxes out of these, these people pay check. If they don't pay these people, these, these people have to just lie on a law and do as, as, as they say because, hey, he don't have no papers. He, he, he's grunting. He, he, he just, he'll do whatever it takes <coughs> to make whatever it takes to, to, to put a, 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 a dollar and a, a, a bread on the table. You know? So, therefore, instead of hiring a person like me, they will look to hire a person like them because Let's they could actually do what they want and at the same time, not cutting you, at the same time, like I say, a guy on the street, no, no food coming for him, really nothing happening, everybody getting things and everybody doing this and everybody doing that. And yet, you have a, 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 a group of people coming here and bringing these things and hey, the police of course, supposed to do the job, which it's obvious, they are, they're only people, they're, they're only people who are doing a, 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 a job just like me and you, just like you and whoever, you know? The police is human too. They got their head, their, their hands um, really full, and I, I find they're still doing a good job in a way, you know? But how you will tell that guy out there, how you will tell, a, let me ask you to, do it, to tell it to you like this then. <coughs> how will you stop a drowning man from grabbing on a floating straw? Yeah, but, but, but let's take your role as the character dollars in relation to what you just mentioned a while ago. Are you saying that drugs is a floating straw and that was his only escape for him to grab onto? Is that, is that what you're saying? Well, not actually is that what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that anything might be the floating straw. Whether, like I say, life harsh. Whether if it's drugs, whether if it's guns, whether if it's robbing the bank, whether if it's um, embezzlement, but, and, but, but and all of what, those things are the wh floating Why struck. must it be those decadents that are destroying the society? Why, why doesn't this young man humble himself, go around seeking and asking for, for gainful employment? Who told you he did not? I'm, I'm not saying he's, he's not, but I'm saying to myself, you are saying, you know, here we have the sadness in our society. You're talking about drugs. You're talking about guns. You're talking about robbing. Okay. What is wrong with, with, with washing a few cars? Listen. What is wrong with, with, with cleaning not talking, and cutting grass? I'm not talking What's wrong with those listen, sort of things? Listen, I'm not, hold on, hold on. I'm not talking about these things alone. You're mentioning only guns, drugs, and this. I'm talking about embezzlement. I'm talking about can't get a job. I'm just talking about, frankly, quite frankly, drowning man, grab on anything. Floating straw, a floating coke pan, a floating shoe. Whatever you think, would you say that's the reality of Saint Martin? That today? is the reality of Saint Martin. Would you say that that is what many young people are living in society today? That is the, hold on. That's the reality of Saint Martin. It's a small Miami, and it's not the young people made it so. Okay, it's not the young people made it so. I don't know who make it so, but guarantee is not the young people make it so. And the way Saint Martin is running today, is not the drug dealers make it so. Who made it so? Well, that's for me to know and you to find out. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm asking you the question. You're telling me that they are not the ones who make it so. This one ain't make it so. In your opinion, who do you believe made it so? Who have this society the way as it is that you said? The reality is... Well, I think the rulers of the house. The rulers of the house. Who are these rulers? 
whoever it is ruling. Well, you want me to be specific and call I it? want you to be specific. Well, the parties that who was controlling from, from since I was a little, me, you was little children until now. They always, they always say that a poor man can't bring drugs into a country. They always say that. Anybody could I, do anything. But when I, when, I, when I listen to your story, right, I want to believe that a million cruise passengers coming to St. Martin, all those big multinational airlines landing on this island, we see tourists walking up and down. One would believe if they come into this country that things is all right. Well, maybe if I go on a, on a boat like that, a big ship like that to sink, because I would believe the same thing too. I really can't blame them for believing what they want to believe or not. You know, I can't blame them for that. What I could talk about is what is reality around me. Like, for instance, the same uh, role that I play in the movie uh, Baby Needs Milk is a reality, it's very harsh, like to say, but it's, it's a reality that's going on in St. Martin today. And these things coming like that because of, first of all, jobs is not like, uh, it's not there in abundance that. St. Martin youngsters who want to make a family, who want to maybe buy a piece of land, purchase a piece of land, build a house, live a typical uh, 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 family life. He, would, he wouldn't even get a chance to do that. Like they will be selling land up Rice Hill. You think a man like me? Oh, yeah, let me lose myself. I wouldn't be able to get, not even to even start to talk or bid about getting a piece of land up there. I know who that land cut out to be for, definitely. And this place is, 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 is it, 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 like, you, you go certain places, you see the discrimination, you see racism, you see it's only a certain, certain kind get you with what they want and what they don't want. And so this is why you see, they, they, they make this show here, Baby Needs Milk, based on reality, what's going on in St. Martin today. It's nothing that these people who um, played in this movie mean anything bad or so. You know, but it's just that a reality that is going on in St. Martin today. These people is people who, who, who have families just like everybody else. They have nice homes. They come from good families. And it's just that some things, sometimes you have to really come out and instead of just talking about it, you have to show it like how it will be in reality. The, the, the graphic part yes, of it, the you, nature you, part of it. Yeah, sometimes well, I find... Let's, let's mm -hmm. elaborate a bit on your role because by looking at this today, you caused the death, dollars, the character dollars in this screenplay caused the death of the young baby because of narcotics. Are you saying, are you saying that, listen Chris, these things happen. These things go on in this society. These things are happening in St. Martin. You may not hear about it because of who the individual is, but it happens. Reality. Like I said, maybe not, not, not only alone in St. Martin, I believe. I believe all, all around the, the, the Caribbean, you know? And, but I have to talk about Swaliga right now because it's here where I live in, it's here where I see all the happenings, you know? So I have to really stress on my country. I have to stress on where I was born and where I was growing up, you know? And, and see the things happening in, in it's sad, you know? Because sometimes you see these things happening, you can't even go to somebody about it. You don't know who to go, who to. Go to. You don't know who these people are or who they're working for or, or what's going on in your country today, in your backyard. You know, so sometimes you see things and you just tend to mind your business. But then let me ask you this question. You know? Let me ask you this question. Because I also, I also realized the, 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 the districts that, was, that, that a, a lot of the play was taking, like for example, the young girl and the young man, Ambassador Junior Lyon, known as Spitz. Spit, yeah. Spit. In the play, his father was living in sort of a, of a, of a ghettoish area where you see the gypsy had to go up when the girl went in to, to, in, into the father's house and, and w when they was running through the area, you see the fence and it's sort of ghettoish. But when you guys took the, the, the drugs to the main man, to the big man, you saw the nice, big, affluent house and the nice right. looking areas and stuff. Mm. It's not the type of discrimination that you're talking about, the type of segregation. But one would and, say and, that and, here in St. Martin that don't exist. Well, in, in a way to speak, yes, in a, in a form of means something like that. Because look, when you really check it out, Christopher, check it out. St. Peter's, they got a block, they got a crack house, they got ghetto, like uh, ghetto disco, you find Spanish bars all over. You know, 
And it, them places easy to find uh, 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 whatever, na- whatever kind of narcotics, I believe, Dutch you could quarter. find. Right. Dutch Quarter. Same. You see? When you go to Dutch Quarter, Miller Region, uh, St. Peter's, um, places like KB, places like certain places in Cold Bay, you know, certain places maybe down in, 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 in down, down Street Tong, over the bank, um, 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 uh, like I say, uh, right there by, um, by, over by cat side, you know. When you really look at these places, all those places have crack house, have blocks, have whatever. Go to Beacon Hill. What do you see? Go to... Uh, uh, are you saying that those things don't exist in Beacon Hill? No. Nah. So no you wouldn't man. find that in Beacon Hill? No, man. You wouldn't find that in Guana Bay? No, man. You would find that in Lowlands. Sanders, Lowlands, uh, uh, down there where we do. How would the place down Pelican there? Pelican right? and those areas? No, man. You find them things, yes, but it's a f- sophisticated, upgraded, high class, so to speak, way of life. You know, high clubs. Like, like when you really check it out, um, those places, they've been pinpoint. Are you saying all that, those are you places saying that is this the is poor. deliberately being done? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That they, they, they want a certain group yep. of people in a certain area? Not really a certain group of people. Because if you make it and you reach a certain way and you could move out to that area and live in a more upgraded area, it's like, hey, all good. So you know? so but so when you really check it out, to me, those places are meant to keep like that. No, no, you need to elaborate a bit on that. Are mm-hmm. you saying that it's purposely being done this way? Are you saying that there, there, there are entities out there that keep in Dutch yeah, Quarter I, the way I it be, is? I believe so. Keep I in Miller Region the way it is. Keep in St. Peter's the way it is. Keep in Kibbe the way it is. Yep. On purpose? What on purpose pur- is that? Well, to me, the purpose is like, look, listen. <laughs> Poverty is crime. Crime spin the world. Crime is like what, to me, is like crime spinning some Martin. They d- to me, they don't want to ease on the crime, Christopher. Look, 27 square miles divided in two. It even a little smaller, a little graphic smaller than the front side. 16 and I mean, square miles. And I mean, you come to tell me that all of this confusion could be going on on one little part of the island. These places could be so overpopulated and so downgraded. And listen, man, I take you some places up in there, you swear. You swear, you in Boca, um, 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 how you say, Brazil or... Uh, somewhere down in, 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 in Colombia, someplace in, in, in San Pedro de Macariz, how we call it, Dominic, um, Dominican Republic. You swear you up in them places? You swear you someplace in Bacaya, Jamaica? Because of how these places is. And I'm telling you. Who you lives in those areas? But those places is, uh, is, 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 is people from Jamaica. Uh, you, you hardly find... Um, do you have white people in those areas? No, 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 no. You only find. Uh, do you have Americans in no, those no, areas? No, 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 no. You find Jamaicans. You do you find have Dutch people living in those nope. areas? Well, you have some Martin people, yeah. No, 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 no. Dutch, Dutch metropolitans what? living no, in those areas. No, 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 no. Nope. No. White Americans in those areas? No. Caucasians in those areas? No. None whatsoever. White so people in those areas? No, so th- this is what got me. This is what got me f- funny about so in everything. In other words, you're saying that it's a color barrier. It's a color thing. I mean, not only a color thing, you know. To me, not only a color thing because look, if you really check it out, if you got a high standard, so to speak, color, and you don't have the 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 the, the, the right hand and money around you, or you don't have the right job, or you don't have a a family that know you or you know them or anything and you in them places you stuck like the rest but to me these people talking about beautifying these places but you want to beautify these places but then the house is looking like 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 crap you know you have people still in st martin and those places sleeping more or less nearly on the ground you know, you have these people, the areas is nothing but, you got to see up in there when it rain. You know, I mean, how is there only Dutch Quarter, Miller Region, uh, places like, uh, pff, name it, St. Cold Peter's, Colby, KB, up in there. Yeah, how is it only these places looking like this? Saudi they got to big up Saudi because Saudi got a lot of the schools. 
So, so they keep it calm in South Dakota. Yeah, keep it calm. South Dakota is always a let calm. Me, let me place. ask you this question because you keep mentioning one word and you keep saying they. Who are the they? The government. The people that are controlling St. Martin, of course. Are you seriously charging the government and saying that they are the ones responsible for the manner in which they are keeping these, of course. how should I say, low-class districts? Of course. Why would you say that? Because why only some people? How come things happen in Beacon Hill? How come things happen in low, um, 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 the, the sophisticated areas? So to speak, I even got to go through all the, the names. The why would you say the government and not say the people? Why, why won't you say that the people of Beacon Hill want to keep their area clean, want to keep their area drug free, want to keep their area sophisticated? So why, why, why only the white people want to keep those places area? So, so, what are you telling me? My old neighbor, my old neighbor, Miss Francis or Miss Catherine or Mrs. Richardson or just my older heads. What are you trying to tell me? They raise the children not good then. I'm not, no, no, that, that's not no what I'm this is a question because I have to go to church every Sunday and I know you too. You know, and I know a lot of us come up, people who could be listening to me right now could remember the times when we coming up and we had to go to church on Sundays and 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 and, and come home after Sunday and we get with we, 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 we dinner because we come home just after 12 and you know and it was nice days and then after that we go to the beach you know we raise up right there in tongue run on and on, 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 on Great Bay Beach you know me Frankie Myers France all of them used to be right in the back of mother got under the tamon tree they're picking and um, pitching marbles swing at them from up on the hill who up there no magic who does work in the, in, the, in, the, in the post office, I forget, in Clinton, who does work in the post office right, right there. They used to live right under that tree there, on that big tamon tree in the back of Mother Gat, in the back of Bobby Flandem House, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on Back Street there, across from Joe. You know? So then what and changed? we all used to pitch marbles on the What changed? Jail. What changed? I guess um, some people just got rich and switch. Is that <laughs> what I mean? Some people just get rich and switch. So what about you? I ain't rich. I can't switch. <laughs> straight up. No, no, no. I, I, I want to get it straight. Here we have the young man, Carl Scooter, was better known as, as Dollars in the movie, in the screenplay, Baby Needs Milk. I'm encouraging each and every one of you to go out and get, go out and get this DVD because there's a strong message being portrayed in this DVD. Baby needs milk, but I want to ask I want to ask Dollars these questions because he is saying that a certain group of people in the society are the ones bringing in the narcotics, and then a certain group are the ones peddling it. Not, is that really the case? Not, not not really a certain bringing it and a certain peddling is like this. No, it's like everybody could just do what they want in Saint Martin. This one could come in and do what he want. That one could come in and do what he want. And everybody so just... A, are you just saying that we have a lawless society? My pardon? Are you saying that we have a society that has no law? Anyone can do what they want. It's a free, for, a free reign for Listen everyone? Listen, man. All laws in society right now, to me, <clears throat> they got to be checked. They got to be... They got to be like... Listen, go home for a while. Um, let me check out this whole situation. Let's sweep out the house a bit. Get a broom. Get a map. Somebody get a map. Get a broom. Map up the place. Sweep up the place. Dust down the place. And then open back the, 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 the government building again. Let's close it down a while. Spray it out. Here get you some, come. Here, here, get some, get here some. you is again with a government building. But what else I could what tell you? What does government have to do with, with a district? So who does run your country? The government runs the country, but the people control their district. Yeah? That's what I'm saying. That's what you're saying. That ain't what he's saying. So, so, so let me play the devil's advocate here and say that Dutch Quarter residents want to keep Dutch Quarter like that. Why Dutch Quarter residents should do think like that? Because they don't want to work. Oh, yeah? They, won't, they don't want to go there so, and look so, for so, gains. So, so, so you're telling me, so you're telling me, so you're telling me, so you're telling me, all of them like that. The majority no, no, no. Is like that. Hold on. Hold on. You said they. All of them like that? Most of them are like that. That's what you say. Most of, did the, you ever most went, of the young people... Did you ever went to house to house or young people to young people and ask them that question? No, I haven't. Well, how but could I can you say that? I can, I can look at them and no, say no, no, that's no, no. what No, 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 no. You can't watch a man and judge a man. How do you mean? No. 
When you see these hold young on, children, hold on, when you see hold these hold young hold children with their pants below their bottom, hold on, wrapping up a fire hold bag, on, smoking their weed, hold on, hold smoking on, hold their weed and stuff, on. you want to yo, tell yo, me yo, that they yo. want better than that? Friend, listen, me and come on here to really argue with you, right? Right? But look at this. You got to look at reality as it is, you know? You got to stop sitting down and just say, yeah, but you could look at, no. There's where you got it wrong. Because from you could watch me and tell me, you could look at it, this cover of this movie and judge it. And I, I, I can hold see on. that you're a bad boy. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I ask you a question here. Let's get real. I tell Let's you already. Real. Let's get real. You telling me you could watch this cover of this movie and tell me about the movie? I could watch this cover and see that you're up to no good. But I'm not asking about me. I'm asking about the cover of the movie. The cover of the movie pertains four persons there. Right. 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 So what I'm asking you now is not about me. I'm asking you about the cover of the movie. Could you tell me, by watching this cover of the movie, you could tell me what's going on in this movie? I, I, I can look at this movie and tell you that there are certain things in this movie you that portray badness. Okay, yes, look. I can. Yes. Okay, yes. yes. Okay, yes. so then you're telling me you could watch this and judge it by that? Yes. Okay, good. Yes. Well, that's why you don't go to the young people and talk. Because you becomes like, you know what? I wasn't young. I reached from age one to five, and from five, I skip out six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I reached to 20, 21. All them rest ages, I never been to. Okay? I reached from only five to 21. No, no, so no, you no, skip. No, 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 wait, no, no, no. That's wait, not what I'm saying. Why I ask you, why tell you that is because I is a person like this. I don't care how you look. I don't care how you dress. I don't care what they say about you. You give them a chance. Me personally, I give you the chance so I could, I could know who you be. It's not enough for me to sit down and ask you a question or talk to you or ask me, ask Prove you, yourself. ask you, but why are you so angry or why do you wear your pants like that or what style it is or what this means when you reach the hood and you see a pair of shoes over the, the clothes, the, 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 the pole the, the, line, the, 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 what it mean? Or, it's nothing to do that. And there's the problem with these politicians. How come the politicians don't ask that when they're facing these same guys in the hoods? so to speak, about what you ask me here. They only ask you this year when, or, 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 or when they want to portray the, the face looking good in the media, then they bring it up. But why they don't ask the youth man when they're on the block, the same blocks, giving out BBs or laptops, why they don't ask them that question then? Oh, why are you wearing your pants below, be, be below your butt? Oh, why are you always sitting here every day? Oh, why are you doing this? Or oh, why are you doing that? No, they ain't asking that then. But when push comes to shove and they're hearing things happening, but why do I have to be like this? And why do I have to be like that? But when you really check it out, how much of them you seen driving the big car when they don't get elected or whatever, and they're on the BB and they're on the this, so car speaking, get out of the block, get on the bus, get out of the block, get on the bus and go where? How long this bus gonna be riding before you just dump you off on the next block? Yeah, but Look, but since 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 that happened, since that block thing come up about ride on the get on the block, get on the bus, I know more than one or two youths who was there, who were there. And ride back on the block. They in a grave today. They got shot. Since then till now, one or two of them don't get shot because well. The same job they had wanted, didn't get this, that, boom, boom, and reach up nowhere. The same things we see on this movie, and they're in a grave today. But that's not, that, that's not the fault of the government. I mean, there should be some sort, of, res there should be some sort of responsibility friend, friend, on the part of the what youth. What I'm trying to tell you is poverty is crime. Once you could allow, allow poverty to be in any, any districts of your country, you are loving crime. Crime is like a fungus. And fungus come because it's not clean. The spot is not clean. When you don't clean your spots and you don't see to it that everything's straight up and everybody could eat and drink properly, you, you, you leave a fungus start to grow. And when the fungus start to grow now, when it start to spread, there you want to blame the people. But how you want a man to eat 
if he can eat properly like how you could eat or how the next person could eat or send a child to, 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 to a decent school like yours what makes you more superior or more inferior than anybody else who living in these places no 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 you, you, that, no, you no, that's the question i ask yeah, yeah, yeah. because you're telling me it's not the no, government no. fault then who you, you continuously shift the blame on everyone else and don't look at the responsibility it's not the people what it's you mean not it's not the people what about the role no, of the no. people to be hold up to their responsibilities my friend, you my keep friend. shifting the blame okay so tell me something because I, I keep shifting the blame, but I ask you questions that you you telling me you could judge this by watching the cover and think that's stupidness. Let's listen to me. How you want me to tell you about people controlling their district when a man can't even eat? That's all I want to know. I mean, if you could ask me a question, I could keep answering you. Then when I ask you a question, you can't answer me. You telling me I shift from the blame, but you shifting too. Why can't he eat? Why can't he eat scudos? Why I can't don't he know. eat? Ask yourself that. Who's stopping him from being productive? My friend, my Who's friend. Who's stopping him so, from getting so, a so job? My Who's friend, my friend. We're going over the. the hey, listen, we're going over the same thing all the time. Okay. Now, like I tell you, if you can't answer these questions I ask you to, then hey, we ain't going nowhere because you're gonna keep going around the same circles and ask me the same question. Oh, who fault it is? So why are you telling me all of these people bad man? Because you, the way how you talking is like Yusuf. It's, 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 it's like, yeah, you, you, you ain't got nothing good for them neither. They're all bad. They're all no good. It's like Bob Marley saying, could nothing come good out of Trenchtown? So could nothing come good come out of St. Peter's? Dutch Quarter? Huh? Miller region, hear them up. Dutch Quarter, same way, big respect. Tongue man, same way, St. Peter's man. So I you're telling me, so you're telling, me, so you're telling me none of these people has talent. I am live here tonight huh. with my good friend, Scoodles Lindy, better known as Dollars in the movie, in the clip, Baby Needs Milk. And you can see as I pose these tough questions, he's starting to, 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 to really get into it. But, but I, I, I like the dialogue that is going. And the point that I'm trying to make to you, Scoodles, the point that I'm try, trying to bring across Dollars is that at some point in time, Citizens living in the decadence of the society, in, 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 in the festering that you're calling it, should take some sort of responsibility and say, we want things changing our no. society. Listen to me. My mother is a good woman. My mother raised me decent. And I know a lot of people out there who raise their children decent. That don't mean to say that we in decent now. None of us in decent. We remember all the laws and the rules. That's where we got families today. And we love our family. I love my family, you know. Big up to my family one time, you know what I'm saying? But what you're really talking about is that those people are blessed people, Joy. Those people you see in Dutch Quarter, Miller Region, Town. Cold Bay, K Bay, St. Peter's, all those Against things. The odds, they still continue to those fight. those people is blessed people. Those people don't give up. Debt don't stop these people. So a lot of these people lose their children innocently to jail, innocently to drugs, innocently to, 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 to car crashes and bike crashes out there and they just go on the next day. You know? These people walk till the dead. A lot of them I know walk, 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 walk till one day they just die. They walk never hard. walk hard. They never even had a vacation. Have a, had a vacation to say well, they go. They, they ever been some place that they could really relax. You know, the children never get the opportunity to really send them there neither. You know, and 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 while I see other people living really large, and these same people who in Dutch Quarter and think those are the people who really going in and putting that that. Make sure they're going to vote. Make sure they're going to vote. You see them standing in lines. You see them going out. It's those are the people that have these people in there making the big lump sum of paycheck today. Driving these big expensive cars. And forgetting them on the sideline. And then what going to happen? A woman walking Pelican. She walking there 21 years, maybe 18 years. And one day, all what happened in 18, 19, 20 years. Happen in just, just a matter of a week. You understand? Just a matter of a week. And, and when she come back home and she got four grown young men, two young ladies, they're still in school. The three 
eldest of the young men, they ain't in school no more. The mother had all of them, okay, one or two went for job, okay, things ain't working, things ain't working. Then when you hear one day now, the mother come home, she ain't working neither, just like that. Can't get her picture, can't get this, can't get so. So it's like a fatigue start to like come in that house, come in that family. Everybody hungry. When a man hungry and he start to cry, hey, he, he just, he, he, he can do like anybody else. No, it's like you're trying to kill a man, he defending himself. Someone, it's only normal, you know, it's only instinct. Someone a message a while ago and said, take a look at all these sophisticated areas. The street lights are working. Take a look at these so-called ghetto areas. The street lights are not working. Would you agree with that? Well, sometimes, you know, but it, not even the street lights is, is the problem. It's, it's, not, it's not really the street lights or, 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 or the, I, I, or the I, I area, But I would say that you know? the youths are kicking off those street lights in those areas. Well, I ain't really checking all of that. I ain't really, that to me, that is minor. That is, that is, I ain't really checking that. I check in, I check in what making them react so. What making them really... You're looking for the cause. Yeah, what really, really making them go on. Did you ever really go in these people's houses, like... On an ordinary day, and 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 not go with your with with, with your with your nice white shirt pin up to your neck and your, 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 your uncomfortable pants on. No, put on a sharp pants, man. Put on some slippers. I could tell you and, for and, a and fact. And and go to these places and really sit down and talk with these people and see who they be. I could tell you for a fact that what you're saying there, what you're asking there, do get done, only get done during election time. Yeah, most naturally. That only get done during election time. But it's because they're looking for something at the same time. They're looking for that paycheck. They're looking for that job. They're looking for that dot. That's why they're there. By talking about on a normal, ordinary day. Just pick up yourself, go on the tree, play a game of domino with the boys. Run away or two. What's wrong with you? Huh? The same little children you grew up with is like, I mean, come on. Like I say, I pitch marbles with Frankie Myers. I pitch marbles with France. Right down there by Jodem, across from Jodem, all we used to run through Jodem yard. Jodem had a band in the back. Joe's wife used to teach the people them upstairs how to type in those days. And today these guys were pass you And through. today these guys, the, the chest up, the belly stick out, the face up, you know. They're going on like as if, hey, yo, they're better than you and they're better than me. But hey, we are so illegal and all we run through that pond. See what I'm saying? And this is what we got to do. We got to remember who we are and where we from and where we where we stand where we going let me ask you this all question. i seen is greed you know what i'm saying let me ask you this question dollars let me ask you this question based on the role that you play in baby needs milk would you say that the youth today the young people today are on a slippery slope or, or, or on a scary path would you say that Man, they're on all kind of path. They're on scary path, slippery path, grippy path, whatever you want to call it. Them, them, them children out there, they, you know, sometimes, you know, it's like, it's like they want to come to people with certain things, but they don't know who to trust, you know what I'm saying? They, they, the place is upside down. The place, these people who control in this place need help. We had a discussion today and we were talking about um, my brother. And I was telling you the relationship I'm having with my younger brother right now. And I told you that I saw I saw him and his friend walking down the road, and I was passing in my car, and I drove and I passed them straight, you know. And I look in the rearview mirror, and I was frowning. I was like, "Yeah, look, they, they, there he go again, walking about the street." And you are t you 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 turn to me and you say, "You're wrong." Why did you say that I'm wrong? Yeah, because you don't pass him just like that, you know. The more the more harsh you be to he is like you're fighting fire with fire, John. If he coming to you with fire, use a bigger one. You're supposed to hold that fire. He fire too weak. He fire ain't supposed to be strong enough that it make you react how you react. Because when you react how you react, how you expect him to react? You expect him to bow with you? No, he gonna give you, he gonna give you Yeah, but I'm, the I'm same his look. older brother. Yeah, it's a matter of respect. What I'm saying is that use the older brother as a matter of respect, but he's a teenager. Right now, everything coming his way. Everything coming his way. Girlfriend coming his way. He want to look good. Jokes coming his way. Um, um, all kind of things coming his way. Bad behavior, bully. Uh, do things to make girl feel impressed about him. All kind of things coming his way. So I, I still say, well, hey, listen. Don't give up. You got you, you to be the one to sometimes in a way. Go to him on a cool, like, hey, yo, what are you saying? Where are you going? Are you going to know? Are you going to flex? There, there, there must be a, a, a line drawn 
where he has to live up to his responsibilities. We also talked about you know, his, his, his position of always being thrown out of school. And I told you not once, not twice, not three times, not four times, I had to go to the school for him where I said to myself, I had enough of that. He, th there must be a point where he comes to the understanding that this is for him. And you said, no, Chris, you're wrong. I can't agree with you on that. Why, why did you keep saying to me that I'm wrong and letting him escape? Because when you give up on them, that is, that is when they really could get away. You know, once, once you see, you, you, you totally give up on that person, it's because then that person feel now like, yeah, they ain't only feel that they could do what they want, but they feel like, yeah, you really, really showing them you don't love them. Remember, he's a young, he's a young guy meeting everything right now. You peer pressure, teenager, da, 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 all kind of thing, girlfriends, you name it. You know, some, some want to be noticed, some don't get noticed. Some want to be dressed like others. Some just get laughed at because they don't have the, 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 the shoe or the, or the certain shirt to impress the girl that he loves, you know, or he likes, or, you know, things like that. So sometimes they intend to take it from another one, show the bully more macho, you know, take what is yours, you know, so represent, you know, that kind of way. But that is stupid, you know. And if you give up on a person like that, and that person only be 16, 17 now, what will happen when he's 22, 23? He might never make it. You see what I'm saying? But, but, but that's the point that I'm trying to make, Dallas. That's the point that because when I, when I, when I look at, at this film today and I saw the role you played, I saw the role Junior Lion Ambassador played, he didn't really want to get in to what you dragged him in. No. And that is what I'm trying to safeguard my brother no, from. No, 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 and no, no, you no, are listen, telling listen, me, you are I telling think, me. I think you watched the movie a little wrong because listen, if you notice, if you notice, you know, everybody looking at it like spit is innocent to what's going on. He didn't you know, want to get into hold on, it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's what you're saying because that's how you look at it. But when you really check a movie, I tell you, when you really look at the movie and you understand the story, Spit is a guy who know about these things. He know about these things. He done it before. He, 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 he came out of jail where he know dollars already. They go a long way back doing this thing. He had his gun hide and everything and, you know, he do what he had to do and, you know. But... You 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 putting it like as if like hey dollars drag him in this thing and first of all it's a role that you have to play that they give you a, a, a script you study your script you know it's not for you to say you don't like this you don't like that if you don't like playing a part you could tell them yes and they could try to modify it or everything you know but it it all pertaining to the story you know and it's not that you drag him in it's that dollars did something that. Spit didn't approve of, which is, you know, killing a man. But no, like I say, it didn't like this man drag him in, you know. At the same time, he's like a joining man grabbing on a floating straw. Right. He want a job out there. He have a, a, a career he want to build as a rapper. He have a beautiful uh, a, a girlfriend with a, a lovely son. But at the same time, her mother and her kids to get at him. And you know, so it it, 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 it built a kind of like stress in the mind. You you never could 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 give your your your, your girlfriend a nice gifts and go out with her and make her feel at home, you know. Not that you don't want to work, but you ain't getting the opportunity, you know. So it's like, hey, beggars can't be chooser, like Spitz said. I you know? told you that I am trying to safeguard my brother from these sort of of wicked elements in the society because I don't want him to be involved with it. I don't want him to get involved with it. I don't want him to be a wrong bad company. I don't want him to be associating with wrong company. And you turned to me and said, that is the reality. It will happen anyway. Explain that. Well, when I say something like that, it don't mean pertaining to your brother alone. I know, you know? I know. I, I'm speaking in general terms, but we you had know, a discussion. It's like, it's like, what I'm trying to show you is that, um, you know, it's like, it's like you in a boat, okay? And you reach in a time out there with tide, where the tide is coming really rough and really high. You think you could go against that tide? You got to swim with it, you can't go yeah, against you it. Gotta, you gotta, I just think you got to ride the tide. You got to ride with the tide. And this is what I'm saying, you know? You got to go on to, you, you got to live with what is happening around you. You got to get through this way somehow. 
I'm not saying that the Lord and I are sharp being there. No, 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 no. Those things as well to the society. But I keep stressing back. If you build, if you build a house, if you build a house, on a, on a, if you build a house on a, on a, on a, on a, 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 a weak structure, do you think that house is going to stand up for the rest of uh, uh, time? Eh? Look at St. Martin. Stand up on Miller Region up there when you're going to Miller Region and look downtown. Take a view. And watch town. Watch Pan Island, so, so to I, speak. So I can't save my brother from that? My pardon? I can't save him from that? Not unless you want to tie him in a room. You could tie him in, or you could, you could, you could bounty hand and bounty feet and keep him in the room for the rest of the times. And maybe save him from it. But what I'm trying to tell you, he got to know things from himself. You could, you could only teach him, you know, you could only lead a donkey to the water, you know, but you can't force a donkey to drink. But eventually, that donkey will get thirsty. He will drink. But the whole thing of it is, you cannot give up on bringing that donkey to the well. You cannot give up on that. Would you, know? you say that Never we stop give, um, dealing with him. When it comes to, to would to you say that we have street. parents who are giving up on their children? By some of them does. Some of them, some of them get so fed up that they, 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 they just give up, and that is when, that is when everything happens. Sometimes, sometimes when they give up, too, is when that child or when that, that individual or that young person realizes, hey, boy, right now everybody give up on me, you know, and I have no one. So you know what? All the things you used to teach me, I had them stored up right in the back there. And then is when they start to say, well, you know what? Let me check myself and deal with it because now I see how important my family. But then sometimes they end up in jail before or they end up in drugs before or they end up even in the graveyard before they get things. So that's why I'm saying do not give up regardless to what. There is our children. Don't give up on Don't you. give up on them. Let me ask you They're this question, kids, Ballers, because Good we children. have a few more minutes. How do you see St. Martin in the coming future? Mm. You know, how do you see the youth in the coming future? Big man, listen, like I said, we got to hold on on them, you know. Because if we don't hold on on them, we don't strengthen up from now. All of us, as fathers, as, as friends, as, as, as schoolmates, you know, I wouldn't even say the next 10 years, the next five years, hey man. The youth then will be shooting on each other in, 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 in the broad daylight broad in the light. street, man. What else I see coming? And I don't want it to reach to that. So that's why I just say to everybody out there, we got to really, really, really talk to our children. And, and I mean, even if I want to invite me to come to schools and, 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 and speak about my past life and bring certain people who really went through, you know, certain traumas in life where they, they take a life or whatever. Let, let's get a range and try to show them children out there who are really going on because a lot of them think Point Blanche is a better rose is. And I'm telling you, it, it is not. You know, some guys go up there and end up, uh, 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 a man got them cleaning the bathroom with a toothbrush. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of them, want to go Pine Blanche feeling like, yeah, when they reach there, it's like high school they reach, you know? So when they come back out, they got fame, they got girls, they got, but it's none of that. Sometimes you go up there and, and you, right now in these times, you could, you could, it could, it's a possibility you could get raped in Pine Blanche, you know? Yeah. Man raping man. Man raping man. That could happen. I ain't saying is like something I experienced or I know or I saw, no, you know? But, Right now, how this place is running and how up there is, uh, uh, hey, it's possibility. Give me your last thoughts on this production. Like I said, it's one of the best productions I've seen in St. Martin in a very long time. Local actors, local youngsters, locally produced. Everyone should get their hands on Baby Needs Milk. Right. Give me your last thoughts and opinions on this. My last thoughts and opinions is on this is like, Think everything on Hollywood real, you know. You see the guy going, he get everything and everything good and everything correct. His consequences with this. You understand? And, you know, I, I, I speak out to a lot of youths out there, you know. Um, find your talent, try bring your talent forward and stay away from drugs, man. 
you know when i say stay away from drugs i mean like really stay away from it you know don't try to get involved with people who are dealing with it neither because it could cause your life you know uh, life yeah or the life of someone else or, 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 or you know or even so to speak you know so i'm saying that um yeah watch baby needs milk and there's a story pertaining to how life is in St. Martin and what really going on in your backyard and, 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 and never give up on your children, you know, never give up on them, you know, because once you give up on them, it's only worse down the line, you know. You got to hold on till, till there's no more breath in you, you know. We are down to the last in our program. But let me say this about my friend, Lindy. I know my scoodle. He played a role as Dollars in this movie. I'm going to allow him to give out his phone number so you can call him. You can contact him. He is one that is willing to come into the schools, come into the, the community centers, talk to the young people, talk to the youth, speak to them on the block about his experience, about his past, about his youth, and the way he grew up. He knows a lot. Don't judge the book by the cover, as one would say. What is your contact number, Scudos? He's also into tattoos. That's his talent, drumming. He is saying, don't judge the book by the cover. What you see is not what you necessarily get. Don't give up on the youth. Don't give up on your children, parents. I'm definitely going to have him back because that hour went too fast. Right. You and, know? And not, 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 not forgetting, don't stress. No Dutch Quarter people, a lot of good people living down there. Miller region people, don't forget. A lot of good people live in there. Sucker Garden, I'm a Sucker Garden people. The Dung Street people, don't forget you all, you know. We coming up St. Peter's, we don't cool the sack. Down in the area, don't cool the sack down there, you know what I mean? We going all the way down Cool Bay. We dealing with KB, don't forget. You know what I'm saying? All you all good people. I know you all you got good hearts. Swallow so Egan people, shout out, you know, big up. As much as I, would be, I, will, I, I was hard on him, don't take it as a guy. He's my very good friend. We train together. We talk about it. We even get in discussions and arguments at times. But that's how it is. The reality of St. Martin is not the picture that is being portrayed. Our young people are crying and asking for help. Scoodle, Lindy, a.k.a. Dollars, yeah. thank you very much for being on Hard Talk. Nice really to be appreciate here, it. Nice to be and here. I do want you to come back love very, to come very back soon. love to come back anytime dog so martin people i know you're upset i know you're angry you're saying i can't believe that the time has passed already but yes it has take care of yourself god bless each and every one of you big up goodbye